comes next. Hi, this is Olivia Liang. Don't miss a new episode of Kung Fu this Wednesday at 9, 8 central on The CW. Now at 10, a gunman's reign of terror unfolds at Michigan State University. A shooter opens fire, sparking chaos on campus and a frantic search for the suspect. We are live with the latest on the deadly attack. Plus high-speed horror behind the wheel of a U-Haul truck. The violent rampage with pedestrians caught in the chaos. Plus mysteries, military missions, and extraterrestrial intrigue. The White House shoots down theories of objects spotted over the U.S. So what is the Biden administration doing about the UFOs? And tapping into Southern California's craft beer boom. The region is home to hundreds of breweries, but has the market hit its peak? Now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Holman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We begin with breaking news out of East Lansing, Michigan, where the campus of Michigan State University is now the site of America's latest mass shooting. Three people are dead and five are injured, and we have just learned the suspected gunman is also dead. The terror unfolded this evening as police say a lone gunman opened fire on students across campus. The university is located about an hour and a half west of Detroit and an hour east of Grand Rapids. The shooting sparked a massive manhunt throughout the region. Hundreds of officers swarmed the school searching for this man. Police released these pictures of the suspect taken from a school surveillance camera. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade joins us live from the news center with the latest MB. Mike and Jared, just moments ago, police announced they located the suspect outside the MSU campus and that he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. They say they believe he was the only shooter. And they also say that three victims were killed in this mass shooting and five others suffered life-threatening injuries. Shit, dude. Holy oh my God. Students run for their lives as gunfire erupts at Michigan State University as heavily armed officers swarm the East Lansing campus. They say this is the shooting suspect. The first shooting was reported at 818 Monday night at a campus dorm called Berkey Hall. Numerous officers responded. We were quickly on scene within minutes. And there we did locate uh, several victims of a shooting. Authorities say some students were dead, others critically injured. The interim campus police chief says there was another shooting immediately after at the Union Building, a place where students gathered to have coffee and study. Campus police pushed out an alert warning students. Saying that shots were heard on campus to basically like hide, um, run, hide or fight which is pretty ominous, I think, for all of us. Annalise Gee is from Calabasas. She's a senior there, but wasn't on campus when the shooting occurred. We're seeing videos coming from the union um, on campus, the MSU union, of just stretchers um, of students coming out, hearing that there's victims um, and that there were a lot of people shot. Dozens of ambulances responded and rushed the victims to hospitals. Authorities say many with life-threatening injuries. Police were able to get images of the suspect from campus security cameras. Initial information is that the suspect is a black male, shorter in statue, wearing red shoes, a jean jacket, and a ball cap. As they continue to investigate this deadly shooting, they're asking students to remain sheltered in place and parents not to come to campus. For parents, we understand. I can only imagine the emotion that's involved right now. It's going to help us and it's going to help our response and it's going to help us identify the shooter, the less people that are on campus at this point. Meantime, students are left dealing with tremendous heartache. Right now, we're definitely hurting. Um, it's, it's just terrible. Mm. 
which is so heartbreaking. Authorities are still investigating what the suspect's connection to the university is. Now, all MSU activities have been canceled for the next 48 hours. We are expecting another press briefing within the hour. For now, reporting live here in the news center, Mary Beth McDay will send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you, and stay with KTLA 5 as we continue to monitor the latest on the deadly shooting in the Michigan State, on the Michigan State campus. We